I will now show you how we can use conditional formatting uh, inside of Cognos report list and for that we will use this property conditional styles. But before that we have to select a column that we will conditionally format. I will select this uh, first column, then I will double click here on conditional styles and I will get this dialog. Inside, the, inside of this dialog we would get a list of all conditional styles that we have created. Currently we don't have none, so we will add another conditional style. For that I will click here on plus button and I will choose new conditional style. And we can uh, decide to format this column here by column here or we can decide to format it by some other column. So we can use some other column uh, to uh, decide what condition to use. But I will uh, at this moment uh, select uh, a column here in both cases. I will click on OK. And before that we have to notice that this column is of numeric type. So when I click on OK, we would get a dialog that is uh, specialized for numeric columns. And here first we have formatting for missing values. So we can uh, format our missing values by using this uh, part of dialog here. And above we have all the other values, but we don't want to use the same formatting for all the other values. So we have to add some border values. And for that we will use this uh, plus button. And I will first uh, type some value, for example, 2017. And I will type another value, for example, 2020. Uh, we can, after this, uh, we can delete these values. For example, if I click here, I can delete this value and uh, I can add it again then. And I can also modify these values directly here. So, for example, instead of 2020, I can type 2090. And then we have to add some formatting and for that we can use these predefined values. For example, I can say that this is very good and that this is like average, this is, I don't know, poor and this is excellent. So these are predefined values or we can define our own formatting. And for that I can click here on this edit style uh, button and the new dialog uh, will open. And here we can see a lot of uh, different options. We already saw many of these options, but uh, there are some that we haven't saw till now. For example, this option, relative alignment. And honestly, I don't know how to use this uh, option, so I will just skip it. On the other side, here in advanced tab, we have this option, box type. And this is something I will show you, but only for values none, inline, block and default. And I will not show you these uh, options, non-block and non-inline, because I don't know how those two options work. And but uh, before that, I would now just use some simple formatting. For example, I will go to font and I will choose this uh, font to be of a red color and to be bold. So when I click on OK and OK again, uh, we will see here how I change the font for uh, these values that are uh, between lowest value and the value 2017. So when I click on OK, but before that, I will rename this style. I will name it numeric style. So when I click on OK, we will see our uh, first style here. And, uh, and again, OK, we will see now how our formatting is working. So we have that bold uh, red font in these uh, values for 2015, 16 and 17. We have other formatting for other values. Now, I told you that I will show you how you can use that uh, formatting box type. And for that, I will jump here in this other report. And here we will see what would happen if we choose option uh, box type none. If we choose option box type none, all the values from these other columns uh, will move one column to the left. And this uh, column with years will disappear. So these boxes will be none. So that is what happened here above. So this happened in this uh, first uh, several rows and this is when we select box type to be none then we will jump to this other report this is what will happen if we select box type uh, to be in line so it will have some padding around it and this last report means that we uh, selected option block so for box type we selected block and we can see that borders of these uh, cells are uh, bolded if we go back and if we go again here to conditional styles, I will open this conditional styles, I will click on edit styles, I will go to advanced. Here are those options I just show you. So we have default, default is this, 
So nothing is changed. We have uh, none where we have that movement of columns. Uh, we have in line where we have that padding and we have a block when uh, cells are uh, bolted. I will close this. Uh, we will now see how we can conditionally form a date column. I will select this date column. I will double click on conditional styles property. And again, I will click on plus button. We will go to new conditional style. We will select our date column. Okay. And here, first, we will name our new conditional style as date style. I will click here on this uh, plus button to add border values. And we will be faced with a calendar. I will select the year 2018. I will select January 15. Okay. And this is our border value. We can delete it with this uh, minus. We can also uh, click on this link to edit this value if we want to. And we will change uh, formatting to, for example, excellent. I will click on OK. And then again on OK. And this is formatting that we would get. Uh, we will now see how we can format one column based on existing conditional formatting. For that, I will select this month column, which is a textual column. I will go here to conditional styles. I will click on plus, but I will select this option, use existing conditional style. When I click here, I can then choose between date style and numeric style. I will select numeric style. I will click on OK and then on OK. And this column will be formatted in the same way as the column year. So condition is defined by the column year, but the same formatting is applied to column month. Uh, let's now see how we can format one column based on values from some other column. Uh, we will format this column quarter based on values from the column year. We will again go to conditional styles. We will click on plus. We will choose new conditional style. But this time we would select column year. I will click on OK. And we will add some border value, for example, 2016. Uh, we will select, for example, formatting that is uh, font could be uh, blue and it could be uh, bolded. So when I click on OK and then on OK, uh, we will get our quarter column uh, formatted based on the values uh, from the year column. Uh, this is one additional explanation. I said earlier that I don't know how relative alignment option uh, works, but I figure it out. So here we have one text item and another text item, and they are both placed inside the block. So if we select this uh, second text item, I can go to its property relative alignment. It's here. And there I can select between all of these values. And uh, based on that, what I select, uh, this text will move itself uh, to the top or to the bottom. So this is how relative alignment property works.